September can be a challenging month for individuals with asthma for several reasons, all of which converge to create a perfect storm for asthma exacerbations. This video explains why, so keep watching if you want to learn more. Asthma is a chronic respiratory condition characterized by inflammation and narrowing of the airways and can be triggered by various environmental and physiological factors. Understanding the reasons behind the heightened risk in September is crucial for managing and mitigating the impact of these triggers. As you know, September marks a significant change in weather patterns in many regions. As the transition from summer to autumn begins, there can be a noticeable drop in temperature. The shift can be problematic for asthma sufferers as cold air is a well-known trigger for asthma. The cooler air can cause the airways to tighten, leading to increased difficulty in breathing. Additionally, the change in weather can be accompanied by varying levels of humidity and wind, which can further irritate sensitive airways. Moreover, September is a time when allergens are particularly prevalent, exacerbating asthma symptoms for those with allergic asthma. One of the most significant allergens during this month is ragweed pollen. Ragweed pollen counts tend to peak in September, posing a serious threat to individuals who are allergic to it. Inhaling these pollen particles can trigger an immune response in susceptible individuals, leading to inflammation and constriction of the airways. Furthermore, other outdoor allergens like mold spores also increase during this time, primarily due to the fallen leaves and damp conditions adding to the burden on asthma sufferers. Another key factor contributing to the difficulty faced by asthma patients in September is the return to school or work after the summer break. This return to indoor environments brings increased exposure to indoor allergens, such as dust mites, pet dander, and mold, which are common triggers for asthma attacks. Schools and offices can also harbor viruses, particularly the common cold and flu, which can exacerbate asthma symptoms. As people gather in enclosed spaces, the likelihood of viral infections rises, thereby increasing the risk of asthma flare-ups. Additionally, the emotional and physical stress associated with the return to routine after a relaxing summer can also play a role. Stress is a known trigger for asthma, and the sudden shift in daily routine can be stressful for many individuals. This stress, coupled with the physical exertion of adapting to a busier schedule, can lead to an increase in asthma symptoms. Lastly, the management of asthma may be inadvertently neglected during the summer months, with individuals potentially becoming less vigilant about taking their preventive medications or avoiding known triggers. But as you can see, September presents a unique combination of environmental, allergenic, viral, and lifestyle factors that can significantly increase the risk of asthma attacks. The fluctuating temperatures, high levels of allergens, increased exposure to indoor triggers and viruses, coupled with stress and potential lapses in asthma management, create a challenging environment for those with asthma. Awareness and proactive management of these triggers are key to reducing the impact of asthma during this month. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.